Visit Professional 08 is able to place objects near a page box in a PDF file. This feature is a perfect fit to add printer marks to a PDF file that has the correct page boxes. What you see here is a PDF file that has uh, the correct page boxes but no marks. So what we'll do is we go to the uh, action list panel through the Windows menu. Show action list panel right here. We click on that. And at that point, we see the default action list database where we look for the category page boxes and printer marks and select the add crop marks action list. These action lists are default installed, which means you can run them from the moment you install the software. So we'll run this on the complete document. And the result is uh, actually marks that are set to the uh, the size of the trim box as it is right now in the PDF file. So now we've set our trim marks. How can we set our bleed marks? To do that, we're actually going to use the action list we've just executed, but duplicate it. When duplicating through manage, uh, we get an error that it cannot be saved in the default database. We click yes, and it will be saved in the local database with a copy at the end of the name. What we'll do then is do a manage edit and then we find the information of the add crop marks action list and we're going to change that by selecting the add line on the left and then for the attributes change trim box to bleed box. We'll do that for each individual. After that we'll change the general information so a name, author, company and description. I'll do that right now. There we go and then we hit OK to acknowledge. Now we have the add bleed marks uh, action list which I will execute and you can see that the second set of marks is set now to the size of the bleed box. For more information, movies and a 30-day trial of Pitstop Professional go to enfocus.com